We've seen things really moving along with our eco house and things won't be slowing down anytime soon. This week we have Darren and Sharon back in the studio with us to talk about the huge job of choosing the right fixtures and fittings for the house. Guys, great to have you back, but first off, I've got to talk about this paver. This has got our green and brown and I think maybe a couple of white bottles in here, is that right? Yeah, and your uh, homework's in there also, yep. along with um, 48 other um, drinkers. All right. So 50 bottles per paver. So I've got to do a lot of drinking over Christmas if I need to make a couple <laughs> of pavers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And it looks like it's got some sort of coating over the top. Yeah, we've just sealed it to give it a bit of a glossy finish. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so how many pavers have we had to make for the, uh, the um, house? 30 square metres, so about 100. Okay, well, that's, a, that's a lot of drinking. A lot of drinking. All right, Thanks perfect. to the folks in no Otaki. We'll, uh... Hey, now, we're, we're talking, obviously, um, water and all the things that go with that and the electrical supply and all the things that go with that. Now, because of the house, it's concrete walls, concrete do we have, floors. and floors. In terms of the wiring, we must have to put it all in early, do we? Um, a lot of the light fittings obviously are in the ceiling, so that's yeah. the plywood ceiling. Yeah. Um, you have to be really careful with the wiring, yeah, yeah, definitely. But we have to also put that on the plans, don't we? Yeah. 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 So all of our plans have the... Sharon, I've noticed you've got a box there. What is that? This is our consent. We've got oh, the we've consent. Got it. Yes, Perfect. we've got the building consent. There you go. So, and so that's see. all the nuts and bolts. So we this can go, everything. we can literally surge forward now, yep. is that right? As of now, we can do pretty much anything to do with the build. Before yeah. we were sort of doing the things we didn't require a building consent for, but now we're great guns, we can move ahead with it. End up being much of a hassle, or was it just plain sailing? Um, we had a few preliminary meetings, so that yeah. definitely eased the process. Um, we had 16 requests for more information, which I uh, don't enjoy very much, but it's part yeah. of the process, and we got there in the end. Hmm. Perfect. All right, so right. let's talk light fittings. Obviously, you're saying with the plan, you need to have a, an idea of how you're going to light your house, first off, and maybe atmosphere in certain areas, so that's... Yeah, atmosphere, where are you going to put the switches? Mm -hmm. You know, Darren was saying that they're actually going to put them in the, um, in the, the side of the, the, the uh, door, door frames. frames. Oh, so okay. in the door jam, so we're not running any cables in the concrete and have a mistake yes. happen, so we can run it down beside the doors, and the switches are on the, um, on the actual timber itself. Oh, wow, that's, that's, that's a different... And colouring? Are we, are we going neutral? Are we going silvers, blacks, whites? Yeah, unfortunately, the eco stuff is driving it, so we yeah. start at the how much energy we're going to use, whether yeah. it's the water... Um, consumption or the energy from the um, from the power. So there's not a massive range of really low um, in eco products on the market. So we've sort of picked through what we what we've got on the market. So okay. if you're talking lights, it's LED lights are your best the form ones, of yeah. lighting. Yeah. Which that's is the most uh, energy efficient lighting yeah. you could possibly have. Well, this little puppy there, that's yep. a that's a LED. So right. um, for, for the viewers at home, an LED is just like the little red dot on your TV screen when you turn the telly on. Mm -hmm. That's a LED, which means light emitting diode. So in other words, a really, really small bulb, but no energy. That there is six watts. Wow. A traditional bulb, which is probably one of these, that might be 40 yeah. watts. So this, okay. you know, that's nearly eight times more efficient than that. It's the same that. brightness, same yeah. brightness as your standard And what colour light, light is it? It's quite crisp. It's a bit like a halogen. Yeah. Yep. yep. Um, right. It's a, a lot better than a fluoro. And you've got some different options here. These are like a, obviously your wall mounts. Or yeah. Is that your up lighting? That's a, well, it's an LED wall light, so yeah. that could work over a bed yeah. or in a, in, a, in a living space. So when you're buying an LED light, you don't ever have to replace a bulb again. Really? Yeah, really. Yeah. That's the bonus about LED lighting. Mm. The downside is that's 40 bucks. That's about 10. Yeah. Okay. But you buy this fitting, which yep. uh, this fitting was maybe 60 or $70. Yeah. Yep. You don't ever have to replace a bulb in that light. Yeah. And some, obviously that's re uh, More traditional. recessed. Yep. Yep. Yeah, recessed. So that's a traditional recessed fitting, which most people would be aware of. And then this one here is an LED. Perfect. An LED. So look very similar. The mm -hmm. difference being is that uses 11 watts of power. Mm. This is used as 80. Perfect. So eight times, ten times more efficient. And just to finish up, we're talking water. Obviously, we've got to look after water. We've got a tank. Mm -hmm. yep. So um, we've got some different options here. Obviously, a beautiful uh, tap. tap for the for the basin. And now, this is a method. Now, their products are award-winning, isn't it? This like for water Definitely, saving. definitely. Um, the Kiwi brands are absolutely brilliant. Top, top, of, the, top of the range and um, up there with the best in the world. So that one's a, obviously a fixed rose. We've chosen a, um, a slide rail. Obviously mm -hmm. you can adjust it, take it off to your hair, that sort of thing. But really, the shower one is the most important. Really low uh, water usage, about, um, about eight litres per, per minute. 
those big monsoon ones you yeah, see, they look yeah. fantastic. Three times as much water. Yeah. But my understanding is that these guys have managed to like almost half or third the water usage for, for showers. It's something like that, isn't it? Yeah, that's come down over the years and um, they've at the, at the top end of it. So, guys, nuts and bolts, it's starting to happen. It's pretty excited. It's great to have you come along again. It's been fantastic. And uh, everyone's starting to get an idea and a plan. We look forward to, to getting into it yeah. and, and seeing everything go up.